first pick, Ori. Wow. Worry, Bori. Oh, by the way, Yankos is not coming. Okay. He said he woke up in a dungeon. And he was oh, to get out. Oh, shit. Uh-oh. It begins again. <laughs> yeah. Striking Meteos. Ew, Zeri. If Zeri's meta, I'm going to puke. But it's might really Zeri. just be ruler. Potentially. Yeah, it could be. Wow, that might be the weakest lane in the entire game. Yeah. I mean, Zeri in general will be clean, but... Do some super dumb shit that's going to make him hate his life. Pick, like, Milio. Be kind of crazy. Milio just comes out at this stage of the tourney. It's like a top-tier pick. Yeah. I don't know, man. Enchanters are just so broken in teamfights, I guess. It's so easy to run it down on melees. Yeah. I mean, they fit the team comp with, like, the junglers and tops that are being picked pretty hard. I mean, what Yanko said makes the most sense. If if it's tank jungle meta, then enchanters are better than having like two meatballs. When you yeah. have like Ali, Sejuani, that's not that good. Having buff ups for the tank is nice. Yep. yep. Lulu? Oh, wow. That's up there with Milio in terms of annoyingness to lane against. They picked it. Dude, Lulu, when she just like is spam walking up and on cooldown, spamming E on you while you go for CS, like fucking. Yeah. So oppressive. Very strong laner. Unless she gets all in and instantly killed. What is I feel like what is he picking? What's would, Kanavi if picking? You blind pick, if you blind pick Renekton, I feel like most of the tops in this tournament would play Jax and try to survive lane and scale. But like it got inverted. He like saw Jax and then he picked Renekton into it, thinking maybe he can like punish it early game, but I don't think he will. Maybe he's that good, I don't know. Also bot lane is like pretty close to being an unplayable matchup. Yeah, she should be pretty favored. KT. Yeah. Only hope is... JDG just, uh... Oh my god! Outskills him. BDD Akali? Whoa! That's not Azir. Wait, how come BDD's Azir is still left open at Worlds, like, years later? When everyone knows he's, like, the original Azir. But it's banned. God. Yeah, yeah, but like he had a crazy outplay with Azir against, uh... Mm. Sorry, I, I, was, I was thinking back to his, his last game. He was playing Azir versus... DK. And he like shuffled four near Baron. Uh-huh. After they got Soul. I mean, I don't really think of Azir when I think of BDD. I think of like... Galio or some shit. Galio, what? Talia. How do you not think of BDD Azir, bro? He's like a roamer, is what I remember. He's not like a high mechanical gamer from from okay, my BD memory. Zoe. BDD Zoe, yeah. But he, I feel like he is like fucking Az Azir Talia Zoe. I think that's that's the three for me. Galio's in there for me, but yeah. Double call. Holy. Sneaky was right. Okay, but like, how are they giving push in this matchup? Hello? What? Oh my god. Flash for flash at level one, that was very good by, by missing. Yeah, jungle is down here too. I guess Sedge is jungling down, so it's Night probably covered. Shit, dude, JDG just is like hard winning two lanes out of three instantly. Oh, Kanavi just showed up behind him. That was weird. Wow, he's just 1v2ing there. Wait, what? Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. shit. <laughs> that was a crazy fight. You, what have, you the never fuck? have any idea how it's going to go. Yeah. Wow. Dude, both of them have double Dorans too. What the hell? Just the top meta. I guess so. Everyone's doing this shit. Man, I feel like it's a really big deal that botlane didn't punish. I I think like maybe KT's jungler wasn't was like already calming early that he want he's gonna path top and just like figure it out botlane. Yeah. So they like gave up the push because they didn't want to be pushing. Split map situation. Getting they they would have gotten ganked, yeah, if they did. Yeah, they would have. 
It, it, it's sucks. potentially a smart plan, for sure. If they needed to be top for like this. I mean, obviously, yeah. this is way past first clear. Yeah. Oh. Big trade. Cheeky little Akali play. A little bit cheeky. Q smite. Oh, bye bye. Holy. That looks fair. I, 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 I really think that Rel needs to be like reworked again for John. That shit does way too much damage. <laughs> Making her jungler is stupid, for sure. Just it, it's it's the fact that the the Q does legit like four or five hundred damage. And yeah. If you have E on it, it does like another few hundred. So it's just like a super smite. Just the band aid like. Let's try to make some more viable shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Does literally eight times damage to Joel camps. Yeah. It's literally unsmiteable for <clears throat> for KT. They need to uh -oh. just take the fight. Uh oh. Uh oh. Ooh, Kanavi flashes out. Dead? Okay. Okay. Ult in one. Oriel just I came think up. He's just dead. Up. Yeah. Bye bye. Fighting that's so scary versus Renekton. Holy shit, man. Just so strong, like at this exact moment. Yeah. A fucking he's guaranteed stun, shitloads of health. Yeah, he's doing really well. Yeah, I mean, it, it was an even trade, right? But mm -hmm. no one got Harold. Yeah, he did not have ulti for the actual fight. Oh my god. They're 3v2, and they're just like making the other guys run. Yeah, the way he played that was so nice too. He he used all of his stuff, kind of got out, started like spacing him, playing just out of their range, but like keeping a tight leash, and then he went back in when his cooldowns were back. Yeah. Oh, another two v two. What happens? Oh. Oh my god, dude! What the fuck? <laughs> it happened again. Just no way! Killing. Dude, I don't think we've ever seen something like this. This is crazy, no? just going one for one in these TVT all Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Normally somebody happening. wins, but like nobody's winning. Yeah. What the fuck? Everyone is playing well. It's so crazy. Like, Keen flashed the... Yeah, yeah. The, the, the fucking rel combo, which was nice, and he was barely able to. Well, he actually died, and then if Triumph proc for three six nine, I'm pretty sure he would live. But it was a little bit delayed, and then he died. Just a gentleman's duel in the top lane. Yeah. But. A gentleman's handshake. Oh, oh, that's a pretty big mistake to be making right now. No kill. Healing with the red ult. Why is he going in like that? Uh, I don't know. I, win that. I don't like oh, okay, this. They're TPing. Oh, oh, oh. They're TPing, that's why. No Akali ult. Not yet. Akami said? No missing. Oh my god, dude. I think JDG might try 3v4 this. Maybe. No, they're nothing. They're trying to let the, the fucking ulti fizzle out. Dude. Oh, I like that by I like that by night. He's kind of like making their life miserable on the way out. So they're losing all their tempo from the good play. Bro, this is like the closest early game we've ever seen. Wait, what? Holy shit. He's that's, dead. That's hype. Oh my god, he's not even dead. It, it, this is literally the closest fucking early game we've ever seen. Holy shit, man. This is crazy. Because they're like perma fighting and it's always just so It's even. just even everywhere all the time, yeah. What the fuck? Really nice play by uh, literally everyone here. It like doesn't even. Like, I don't think anyone's making mistakes really. Just no. choosing to fight. The only thing here they could say is like, well, you guys didn't think about him dropping a ward while he's queuing. He's like queuing in, dropping the ward at the same time. So it's like 
kind of deceptive what's happening and then the instant TP by uh yeah. by Akali. Yeah. I guess they didn't factor that in, but it's like so I don't know. Both teams playing so good. Even the result of it, it's like the team that got the kill didn't get anything all after they just got pushed yeah. out. Yeah. It's barely an advantage at all. Wow, they're gold though for is pretty favored for KT. But JDD has two drags. <laughs> true, true. Oh! And Ruler gets the 25 and doesn't give him the crash. That's huge. No plates were up, I guess. So, only thing they would have got out of it was damage on turret. Bro, I don't know who's going to win this game. Who's comps better? Is it KT's? I feel like it's so close, too. I feel I like... Think it's easy, yeah. I feel like it's Aphelios really is better than yeah, Zeri, I agree. but like Ori's a lot better than Akali, but Akali will do really good mid game. Renekton kind of falls like, off, Jax like is really strong. Renekton falls off and... Rel's way better than Sedge. Yeah, there's is, this is a few things, but overall I think KT's comp kind of makes a little bit more sense because... They win if they are able to assassinate like one of the carries, and I think it's kind of easy with Lulu in a dive comp. Like if they if they actually can get on a carry and Lulu can just like knock up off of it, it's so easy to just kill someone. Mm -hmm. Oh, big whiff. Oh, oh, nice by BDD right there. Just uh, spamming he's, R. He's too guy. fucking aware. Yeah. Okay. Ow. I heard. Getting turret wow. here. JDG is just spam, uh, is spam like overstaying to, to make sure they get this turret. And maybe a little will get punished in the end of it. It is in a really fucking good spot. I mean, this it's 2k gold lead now, but if they drop Herald and use it effectively, it's going to be 3k by the time third Drake comes. I think if I get tier 2 with this, Herald's so fucking strong. Jax is starting to become a fucking problem. Are they going to pop yeah, it? They're still going to skill? Okay. Wow. Oh, they can't kill shit here. That was actually a pretty... Big investment for them to TP to defend that. Whoa! Lahens though? Dead, just dead. insta dies. Wow. The cross map play is beautiful. Puzz gets punished so hard for doing a kind of like okay play on top. Oh. Holy shit, man. Now the Herald. Yeah. I don't think they get more than not one. Much, not much yeah. else. And I think, honestly, too. If you're KT, you're going to want to base after this, which is going to put you in a weird <laughs> spot if you're actually focusing on this Drake here. One HP Herald crash. Yeah. Really use both sums there and his ult for the previous kill. Maybe, maybe he'll still have his... He probably will have his ult for Drake. Looks like it will come up. Sum. Yeah. I, I still think at this point, Aphelios is stronger. Uh, two items to two items. He's doing more damage. Two K gold gap, but other team has drags. Oh shit! That's a very good position, bro. Oh shit! Oh, AD has no flash, but he's oh, it's to... doomed, Wait. right? Wait, oh my Knight's god! Getting Knight's getting fucked. Oh, 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 big old team. Oh. That was a big one. That was a big one. Oh my Lucky god! Me. They get cleaned. They get cleaned yeah, they so get hard. Fucked. They're so fucked. It's just a fucking ace. Oh my. God, oh, JDG went. JDG went way too deep for the guy with the uh, cleanse gale. Wow, that was, nice. that was nice by aiming though. He he cleanse gale the recon engaged, so he got a little bit of distance, and then no one could wombo off of the recon. That was such a good Renekton position too. How did that really just insta cleanse gale in Lulu? Yeah. I I guess I don't know. I'm gonna see the rest of his team. Did he go too early? I think if Knight was... Oh, um, he didn't Recon actually tried. have ulti on during... Oh, wow. Kanavi got nothing, too. Yeah. Look at this. Four-man clump for the Aphelios with blue gun. Oof. Yeah, that was gross. Beautiful. 
I don't think they knew Renekton was there. They just played well. Holy shit. Well, I, I guess this one's over now. I mean, we were saying we think their comp's better. It's yeah, just, I think I think it's kind of done. It's so hard to come back versus a team with blue as well. You're just gonna get like, well, it's not that bad yet actually. It's not like she has a shit ton of items, but I'm not feeling good about JDG's comp. I don't think it's horrible. I just think it's worse than the enemies. Oh my God, Lena Tofu's has a poopy butt. When they're just killing Baron. It's oh my God. <gasps> oh! oh my God. That was so oh, fucking shit. close, dude. I saw it at like 80 health or 20 health or some shit. Well, Kanavi's fucking dead trying to go for the steal. I mean... Missing just W the wall? Jax is just never going to take damage. I don't... Oh! Nah, it's over. It's over. What, end mid? It's it's over. You're going to split? I think they... Should straight up be able to end here. Maybe not. I don't know. Yeah, it's completely doomed. Bye bye. Holy fuck. Walk up, get the KT, smoke. KT just picked like stronger champs. I, there's no way a Zeri's gonna do that much damage. One fucking red Q just taking out a Renekton. <clears throat> Suffer the fate of Elk, bro. Just pick some shit champs, lose the game. Yep. Oh, 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 oh. oh GG. AT is smoked and rolled after that ace. Yep. BDD is the goat. He played well. I always remember <clears throat> Jensen was telling me about BDD because we were like, went to a Korean boot camp. We scrimmed against BDD's team. I forgot what, what team he was on at the time, but he told, he said like, man, this guy plays the Cinder Ori matchup better than anyone I've ever played against. And I'm like, how? At the time, Jensen was like an elite laner. Like he was really good in lane. And I'm like, I don't know. He just dodges all my cues and he hits all his. <laughs> <laughs> and that's all I remember about BDD. I feel like I remember his results in total. Not, not that he was a choker, but like his team has never really been like the true best. Mm. Even if they won something at the time, it never really felt like they lived up to the yeah. hype yeah they never cemented themselves that's true bdd's just always been up there i don't think he's ever been like you know talked about as like the best I internationally at least like he, he he falls off internationally but i mean the, the road this world this world's for kt has been fucking crazy it has maybe that's how they're just like they're ready for the final boss they've had the anime training arcs yeah Jinx, okay. Thoughts, Boss playable. Champ Jinx is missing just a recon one trick. Like he will just play recon even in the worst matchups known to man. Yeah, Respect. I mean, he's looked good this tournament, but people weren't picking this shit. Like the range supports. Yeah. I mean, I guess he's blinding, so you know, part of someone's got a blind. I mean, they could have picked Jinx, though, early, right? Yeah, they could have. I mean, I think that this guy just loves Rakan. He actually... He's probably just one of the people who's like, Dude, this shit is fucking broken. I don't care if we go down 10 CS. Like, the champ is just OP. And he's not wrong. So... Yeah, I just... I'm curious if at any point they're just going to get punished. Because, like... I can't think of a worse 2v2 lane than Jinx Rakan. <laughs> is there your con? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're just like the worst shit ever. They're getting away with some serious crimes. Yeah, they actually didn't really get punished last game. So if the team fight's good, then it was fine. Yeah. I feel like this I is going to be a worse punish. It's like BLG. Like BLG would just lock in like fucking Jarvan and some other crazy OP bot lane and just fist them into the ground. Yeah. Okay, so this time KT is the one playing Renekton. And Viego, I just I haven't seen Viego do very good this tournament. It's like not that useful. Yeah. I'm pretty meh. I don't even know. It doesn't even look hard. Play Jinx's game should be easier. Renata ult. Oriole, so scariest thing. 
Like he, he uh, I want them to pull it up again, but I'm pretty sure this dude has cleanse, so I don't see how you could even get in range to be Oriolted unless you're kind of like fucking up a bit. And how do they keep getting the push? <laughs> Shouldn't the enemy jungle is going up, like fighting to the death? Uh, actually, yeah, the jungle is pathing away, but I don't know. At that point, I think you should just like push anyways, and then just like push and bounce away off. The I mean, they might unironically play better as a team like this, like covering top. Yeah, maybe. And they're just like, yeah, we'll, we'll be fine, bot. Like, we won't be diveable. As long as they're not diveable, this is fine. But I mean, they... oh no, it's it's not gonna be diveable with Viracon early. It's just, yeah. I think when you play rain supports, like your support is always like way happier if you're you're the one pushing. They can actually yeah, like, yeah. trade and stuff. <clears throat> okay, well we've got Nico can kind of just throw out a couple of things. You've now got this long range on the Jinx as well. It's gonna make it a little bit more difficult for you to. <clears throat> they don't know. He's managed to sneak in. What's gonna happen? Knight looks pretty fucked. Bye bye. Holy! Nice little sneak in by by Custer. Yeah. yeah. He's been ganking pretty well this tournament. Uh, but when Jinx has these items, no one can stop her from just one tapping the wave. They're noon quiver gaps. Holy shit, he's got three health bots. He started longsword, didn't he? Oh, yeah. yeah, he started longsword, so I think he has the same three since the beginning. <laughs> How does he not use a single pot? What? That's actually crazy. Popoga ruler. <laughs> Okay, he gets excited off this. This is a really, really good fight angle, maybe. Oh my god, that guy's no flash from the Dead. previous gank, and he's just... Oh, oh, Aiming's oh. fucked. Cut. Wait, really? Oh, he's out somehow. Yeah. Wow. Nice flash what by the him. hell? I guess they didn't have Q on by. Yeah. Holy shit. There was definitely a moment of, like, hesitation where I thought... The bailout was gonna give him like a revive or some shit, but they they, they couldn't get a trade kill. Yeah. The Oriole is bursting. Yeah. Oh, oh dude, if it hit Rakan. Yeah, almost hit Rakan. Wait, Muse's mic is muted? Oh my god. Wait, you guys have not been able to hear Medios this whole time? Oh my. Dude, just classic. Come on, me. It, let's let's unmute the mic, Medios. Oh, he's, he's shy. Literally three Worlds matches and nobody told him. Oh. That guy's no flash. That guy's no flash. He exploded. He's dead. That was a very, very, like. Ex Wait, BDD. Oh he's fucked. He didn't flash. Oh my god, but he has Merc Treads. Oh! Ruler can flash for it. Ruler can flash for it. He has no flash. Oh, Ooh, nice movement. BDD was clean with that. Wow, uh, is is Ruler going... You think he's going uh, Gale Force this game? Or is that PD second? There's no way it's PD. Oh. Gotta be Gale or just a bonus longsword. I don't think bonus longsword is real. Whoa, Kanavi, are you crazy? Looking crazy. It's going crazy with the Qs. Okay, they just gave that so they could get started on the Heralds. And the Crab, dude. He's leashing every jungle camp in the game. Oh, the big Crab, the little Crab. All the crabs. Red buff. Oh, and ca and ruler miss cannon. Minus one. Minus one. Minus one. Minus one. <laughs> oh, so cocky. Ruler can just walk like that. Whoa! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! So many kills. For Extreme Jinx here. death. So many kills for Jinx here. Oh my god! Wait, BDD still has flash. Wow, they actually get out the carries, okay. Yeah, the two carries get out. Wait, wait. wait. Kanavi? Oh! Oh my god! Oh! Oh my god, he turns it around, he cues in. Holy fuck. Well played. That was... 
That was like a fucking StarCraft player was playing the game for JDG because everyone immediately turned on on the guys who were picking Kanavi. <laughs> there was like zero hesitation by everyone to just help Kanavi when he was yeah. getting fucked there. True. <laughs> God damn. That was sick. Super play by Knight there, four man. Aiming did about as much as he could there too. Yeah. Okay, so just everyone. Oh, wait, no. Aatrox was hitting a ward for one second. <laughs> Not instant. It was completely instant by him. They got Infernum? Nope. But probably, probably Sniper. Sniper if, if he swaps it here. Yeah. It's fine. There we go. Good guns. Uh oh. Leave the CP. Leave the CP by Nico from behind. Oh my god. Bye bye. It's Jover. Wait. It's it's Jover. Actually, Ori's died instantly, yeah. Holy shit. Monster team fight stomp. <laughs> the funny thing is that the fight started 4v5. Before Knight even finished his TP, yeah. missing one in for a flash engage, and they just like. It already looked good, <laughs> and then it was just completely a wipe. I didn't even see it. Like, how did Ori die? Let's see it. Let's see. Mr. BDD, and then he gets flashed on here. Oh, okay. the two just Flash get Q, rolled. That was so. That was nasty. Look at what. Look at what happened to him. That was so crazy. <laughs> and I, I love that Vi ulted somebody else as well. He didn't. He like knew that BDD was completely fucked, so he ulted the Renata. Yeah. I mean, it looked like KT had some hope this game, too. Yeah. Now it's just fucked. It's funny, because, like, Knight is the one making the most mistakes on JDG, but he's also still playing, like, pretty Wait. well. Oh, aiming's fucking dead. Uh, Mr. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. That was close. Dude. That was close. <laughs> Wait, he bought randomins. Yeah. Satrox is pretty big. Oh, okay, I guess we'll just get soloed by the jungler. Holy! Oh my god. Oh my god. Again. Oh my god. Wow. Where did KT just go? I think to the pearly gates. Hmm. The big summoners drift in the sky. That's crazy. <laughs> there were so many times where Nico just got a three or four man flash ult. Nice yeah. timing. No, that, that shit was huge. I mean, I, I feel like we've seen that so much from Nico. It just seems, it's not easy to get in, but like they make it look easy. Yeah, I mean, if you watch that, you'd be like, Nico's so fucking easy. I could play this shit. I'll just go in and pentakill them with my ult and then. You playing against good players who have a good understanding of like spacing and they're they're constantly looking to bait you in, they're constantly poking you as you're trying to look for it. It's like pretty fucking hard to do against good people. Yeah. What do you think about the C9 super team? Unknown top laner, but Blabber, Jojo, Berserker Vulcan. Hmm. I mean, sounds good on paper, but how will they play together? How will they mesh? Is Swords actually gone, or just assumed? I actually don't know. Teams on paper with strong players are like... I feel like it's fun to think about, and then like... I don't know. A lot of times they just don't work. Players don't mix personalities. Yeah. It's always the same song and dance. Like, when you when you like figure out what happened, it's it's usually just comes down to like... Certain people will just refuse to play for the team or like refuse to meet in the middle. Like, uh, you know, just like wh whatever other people want or like, you know, two different people would just say like, fuck the shit, then I'm just going to do my own thing. The team just becomes dysfunctional real fast. Yeah. Or, or there's like too many voices. People trying to do their own yeah. thing. You don't have to be like a one voice team, like one guy calling kind of thing, but... If everyone has their own vision on how to play the game, then that's just terrible. 
It's literally never going to work. You have to all be like, all pretty much be on the same page and understand. Yeah. You need some people to just be flexible. <clears throat> and missing pick Rakan again. I mean, I think I think JDG is going to win Worlds playing Rakan Ori every game. Straight up. Or Nico. Just Rakan. Just Rakan everything. Fuck it. Ew, I hate Severus's. I hate Severus's Zaya. Severus's Kaisa feels more playable, but Zaya will just walk up to you and actually stat check you. Yeah, it's kind of bad. Autos, her autos do like double damage effectively because like her W gives her 20% more damage on autos. And then every feather she puts behind you is like a fucking stacking up a huge bomb on you. A so. truck. A truck. Yeah, I, I mean, like, if Sivir's spell shield actually acted favorably in that, it would be a good matchup. It's like yeah, if you exactly. block one feather, all feathers are blocked. Yeah, that's not how it goes, though. Also, but BDD got a zero, so I actually think KT wins this one. Oh! I mean, they are blue side, and they got Zaya, so. <clears throat> they got Zaya, BDD got a zero. I would be shocked if they lost. I mean, JDG has a cute little comp. But Zaya and Azir are some of the safest picks in the game against a dive, like a dive combo. You literally need to press like one button or cleanse and then one button and the entire engage probably won't work. It looks pretty heavy KT favored. I think you're really comfortable playing Azir, Zaya into full dive. From double call matchup? To double, double domains. <laughs> I mean, when Nautilus is in, I understand why you would go Dorans. Yeah. Makes sense. Ooh, BDD went the uh, the Hail of Boners this year. Now I haven't I haven't really seen this pay off. Assuming that the payoff is that you're like winning lane significantly to make the rune choice worth it, but uh, the one trick is doing it. Why is aiming base? <laughs> Well, how is every time I look at bot lane, it's completely doomed? But like, I don't think that's how it's supposed to go ever. Like, he's just so fucking doomed. He's Ruler's too fucking he, good. He based by boots. Missing's and, too and good. Was, yeah, like, are, is Ruler and Missing just that fucking good? It's like, his LPL bot lane, bro. Really trash lanes as well. Elk on, do the same shit. Just absolute GG bot lane. Ruler can just play the shittiest early game champion ever. I swear to God, guys, if you try playing Sivir against a, a normal bot lane in lane the first, like, few waves, you will absolutely hate your life. And Ruler can do it, and he can have he can get a plate by five minutes and fucking start the game with Zerkers. What is going on? <laughs> Missing is just, like... Daring that guy to to hook him. Yeah. I think a lot of this for JDG is you want to try and slow push out this bot lane. He's so annoying. I, I love when Rakan's play like that. It's just, he's just constantly in his face and just like haunting him to go in. Very frustrating to play against. Dude, he's been just beating the shit out of Nautilus for like 20 seconds. Matching little bitch. Lehen says, get your own play, pussy. <laughs> okay. Dude, now, now Lehen's is mad. He's like, fuck this guy. Yeah. No, it's actually triggering when, like, someone just walking and, like, matching your fucking movements. Like, you yeah, moved I mean, mid because it looked good for your team, and then, like, the, the other guy is just following you, and you're like, what the fuck are you mid, dumbass? Uh, I mean, he's, he just baited BDD to, like, try to shuffle him, too. Yeah. <laughs> He's so annoying, but I love it. Okay. Kanavi's covering this. What a read by him. I'm not trying to glaze too hard, but like Kanavi is reading oh the fuck my. out of this, this dive. Oh, it oh my god. <laughs> okay, 369 kind of just didn't flash anything, but. I mean, it kind of seemed like he might live, and then he just exploded. Yeah. 
or do we send a herald and get some Dude, these guys also pulled it to that exact spot it's just becoming a normal strategy yeah i've, I've seen it twice in the same game and before this i don't think i've seen it at all yeah you should just pull it straight out i mean when jdg did it it was because there was a pink in the pit too they didn't want to kill yeah I mean, now JDG just picks it up. Yeah. Wow. But, but what's the... What's the reason? I'm trying to look at it again. Like, why did KT not want to fight that? Everyone was full HP. Nobody oh. needed to base. Oh. Okay. Uh-oh. Just got shit on? Wukong just got his, his Sunder. He is, like, fucking online. Yeah. Oh. Huh. What's going on here, guys? Is he gonna kill? Oh! Oh, nice flash by 369. Holy shit. Clipped his ass. Top lane, like... In general, I feel like 369 and Keen are just always fighting. And yeah. It's always so close. The gentleman's duel. Dragon up in 25 seconds. But I blinked and Cuz is down two levels. <laughs> is Wukong going to pop off? Is he just not farming? It's not like Rel is bad at farming. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure her clear is just always very fast. Ah! Start to finish. What the fuck? Yeah. Or he is very balanced. Or he solved that audio bug. So many oh. Angles. Wow! Oh! He's dead, he's dead, he's dead, he's dead. Oh no, he's... Oh, he actually is dead. Like, really getting fucked by Nautilus, but... They're just going so fucking balls deep for this. Amy has literally nothing. No ulti, no flash, nothing. Got no oh. juice. Oh. oh, the feathers, the feathers. Okay. Wow. Silver ulti got a lot of value there. Yeah. Because if you get kills, it it uh, refreshes. It looked like everyone was ghosted on JDG for a bit, but. Silver <laughs> ulti. Wow. I mean, Azir got fucked. Is there yeah. not a good flash angle? He, he had flash and it wasn't a perfect change to see. I think he probably just felt like he could hold his ground and fight. Maybe. I don't know. Oh, it was on CD? Really? Oh my god. Oh! Shut down. That's a huge kill. That's a huge one. Legit and that, that's actually massive. the that's that's the downside if your team is like tempo terrorists is you win the fight but then everyone's greeting for waves jungle camps etc and if you're the you're the guy who wasn't being the tempo terrorist and you just end up going mid or something like in that in this case like i think ruler just was he, he might have based first regardless he was the only one out on the map and then he just gets fucked Oh, yeah. he gets dope from four angles. Oh, wow, he doesn't have quick blades yet. Yeah, she's so weak. Holy shit. This guy's making Zaya look like hell? zero DPS champ. I didn't. Are we fighting this? Uh, oh, DDD? Dude, uh, it, flashes Amy. away. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Finally, I, somebody goes down there. I guess it worked out. Like, I was saying, like, aiming should have killed Rakan, but if he didn't hit Wukong that whole time, BDD probably dies. Yeah. Holy shit. I mean, now now he's he's got two kills. Ooh, and Willow missed Cannon. I think we're... I think KT is back. He got the... He got the Wukong there? Oh yeah, he, I, I, I actually so, no, yeah. he he's an assist. Yeah, he did. Now all of a sudden he has a bounty. Oh, he's he's gonna be huge here. Let me let me watch this once again. Nice little pick. Almost instantly ultis, but it doesn't change anything. Such a surprising angle for Cuz to go in here. I guess he's tanky yeah, enough. He felt he felt really confident. I mean, 
A lot of times I don't think it's calculated. I think you just play off of feel and it. You're like, let's fucking fight. Let's go. Oh, oh wow. He totally didn't hit. Uh... Yeah, it's legit one hit. Ooh, but worked out. Yeah. Hindsight, it's like, okay, like, it was probably better to hit Rakan, or uh, Wukong there. Just yeah. so you save your mid laner. But that one auto for one kill. Yeah. I'm taking that every time. I don't care. <laughs> yeah. If he's in your face, you for sure hit him. Yeah. Yeah. I think a lot of AD carries tend to, when when they're kind of nervous, they, they tend to hit close to target. I'm not sure if aiming was nervous there or if he was just, you know, making a decision. But you don't know what to do. You just hit the closest target. You don't prioritize anyone. Safe. And now running past some dude with the stun. Yeah. Bonk your ass as you walk in. Dude, the, 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 the kill on Ruler was actually so huge. Because now that Zaya has Last Whisper, she got, she got a fat-ass gold injection. And now they can threaten Baron. They can actually win a front-to-back team fight because yeah. Zaya just does so much DPS. Like here, here they're threatening Baron with Zai's crazy. I mean, it's a zero as well. DD is just playing like Superman permanently. He's going in. Oh my god! You hit it. Got a little bit of poke off on midwave. Are they scared of Baron here? Uh, I think Jax should just solo Drake. I think JDG is playing a bit slow, and they're they're kind of getting lost right here. Like, th not they cannot threaten the Baron; they're just can only get them off. But they have control Baron still, KT. Yeah, yeah. They didn't even clear the pink at all. Yeah, but then KT has already healed off. I, I feel like this whole thing has been very strange. Ooh, flash ulti, ruler, amazing flash, amazing spell shield. Wow. Oh, oh, oh! Can I be dead? Jax goes in. This is horrible by Jax. He yeah, he's so deep. Himself. Oh my god. The reaction for Ruler to, to to spell shield the R flash by Nautilus, then to flash the engage from Rel. I didn't even see it, bro. Play that shit. It was back. so fast. <laughs> I mean, I, I can understand spell shield Nautilus ulti. That's not hard. It's it's pretty hard to spell shield Nautilus ulti when he R flashes melee range on you. Yeah. Let's see it. Let's see it. Let's see it. Watching. Instantly. Goddamn. Yeah. No, that's good. It has some. Uh, <laughs> he's pretty. He's pretty solid. Holy fuck, dude! Like. Pretty decent. It, it's actually similar to what JD he tried first game, like trying to catch out aiming, and aiming just insta reacts, like pushes button buttons, gets out, disengages. And then yeah. JDG is fucked. Well, on the replay, it was not him who who really saved himself. It was Lulu ulti reacting to the flash W, and it canceled Rakan's knockup. Yeah. But the Gale Force coming in too. Yeah. And the and the cleanse from the reduction stun. Mm -hmm. oh my God, this team is um, uh, their champs actually benefit from Cloud Soul so much. <laughs> like funny because a lot of their ults already give them move speed. Like synergizes very well. Oh my oh god. My god. Oh my Dean god. Is just absolutely useless this game. What? Yes. Wait. Wait. Nah. And it's Jover. It's Jover. Ruler isn't even here yet. It's Jover. It's Jover. They, they just win that 3v4 mid? Really? 3v4? Yeah. He was in the fountain at the start. Yep. Okay. Man, I, I I really thought KT had the better drafts, and I still think so. Like it, it's just that JDG played way better. Yeah, I think he got played for sure. You you get Zaya, you the enemy takes Sivir. That alone should swing the game hard enough, but yeah. JDG playing it too well. Ruler fucking surviving dives. I mean, I feel like I, that I'm, engage works on most city carry players too. It does, it does, yeah. And they just die. Or they're like 1 HP and they can't fight, at least. Zaya is not overrated, little bro. That's legit the highest damage AD carry in the game, maybe. If she's just free hitting, I, I don't 
don't know if there's a single lady carry. Not even like Bane does more DPS than Zaya. Yep. We not banning BDD Zier. Want lose Ed? What's first pick? Uh Zaya. Zaya again. 30 wins, 12 losses. It's overrated, guys. Like, why do we keep giving missing a recon and, and going 10 CS down in lane, losing plates at five minutes? Like, something is going wrong here. Recon one trick. Like, Recon Ori, every time he's up, just he needs to lock it in. Oh, dude, he's gonna go Sivir again if he sees this. Oh, I like the Lulu. Just pick something that will punish this fucker in lane, but like actually punish him this time. <laughs> wow. Kaisa, really? This is one of the most dog shit lanes that's ever been locked in. Kaisa Rakan is so weak. I guess he can just play the, the worst side of the matchup and win anyways. Literally every matchup you said with Rakan, you've said it's so bad. <laughs> Dude, it's so bad. <laughs> It's like they just Zeri keep playing Zeri Holy Rakan, fuck, Rakan, it's so Rakan, dog Rakan, shit. Like, Zeri Rakan, you Ow. could not have picked the worst fucking lane. Kaiser Rakan, holy shit, that is the worst ever. <laughs> it's so bad. <laughs> How holy are you fuck. gonna lane, man? <laughs> uh, I, I'm gonna lose my fucking mind. I already know I'm gonna look bot lane at fucking 10 minutes and somehow Ruler and Missing are just gonna be winning somehow. No, only only JDG can draft like this and still win the game. Only them. This is a slam dunk draft, guys. This this is this is legit. Like, I, if if I was like no, looking no, cover up the the fucking teams at the bottom. This is like a 80 20 draft. Like it's it's fucking bleak for JDG. I don't think that they're going to win this, but uh, then I look at the team names and they're probably still going to win. This and then we watch the gameplay. Yeah. <laughs> and we say, oh, shit. Oh, okay. Yeah, I guess we just pick Lee Sin into Zaya Lulu. <laughs> You're definitely going to kick him. <laughs> For sure. You're picking Kaisa into Zaya. That matchup is like literally just proven to be Zaya winning every single time. Holy like, fuck. <laughs> so rarely does Kaisa ever win this game. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. That's actually that's huge. Yeah, that's not a good start. And and look at this walk of shame Dude, all the way back to lane. Please don't thing. miss the fucking melees. Oh, please tell me wow, get some. Oh, oh, he's gonna get him, but he's gonna, he might suffer. He might suffer. Ah. Oh, ah, uh, okay. Not as bad for Ruler. Yeah. Gonna hit too early, but it won't matter. It's looking rough. He's gonna get zoned. You know, Kaisa can't farm from range, so she's just gonna kind of get zoned all the way from CS, like from here, all the way till it crashes on her turret, and then she's gonna get poked on her turret. KT's vault lane's in a great spot early. I mean, this is honestly even even a, di a dive angle if I wants to just immediately run behind them and just start pressuring Lee Sin to skip camps. After the fourth game of having the winning bot lane, KT finally wins bot lane. Yeah. I mean, Cuz is going straight into the jungle, which is great. But this could be straight miserable if he just beelines it bot. Pressures the dive. What's going to happen here? Sure. Can you kick Lee's ass? It seems, it seems like, it seems like Lee Sin getting spotted on this ward he might get no abilities beat his ass real quick oh he shields himself a little bit but oh cuz got it cuz got it all right now he inched the blue buff in let's go wait okay Ooh, flash in flash ignite wait flash in by lens that might get him killed oh my god get him killed oh my god Oh my god. Oh! Oh! He can't kill. Can't kill. Holy one for one shit. So far. The wave bot lane is so trash for ruler, but if aiming touches it, it's going to be totally. F oh, well, it's actually good for ruler. Yeah, it's pushing in. Good. Pushing into him. That means that aiming like damaged it a bit previously. Oh my god, bro. What the fuck, top lane? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 
Nice little freeze by 369. He's gonna make Jax miss a lot of I feel like Jax has to run at him here. Oh my god, bro. Holy shit. Ooh, he's gonna do walk of shame away. So many flashes were burned in that last fight. Support flashed in. What? I feel like that was such a... That was such a, like, fast turnaround by missing. Like, he's like, oh, shit, he just flashed in. And then yeah. they just decided, like, yeah, we can kill off of that. That was great. And BDD flash. I was about... And then he just and goes got. straight off the replay and kills him. Yeah. And he's got... Holy he's shit, bro. So miserable for Jax. <laughs> but, like, can't touch the fact, Jax is oom now, I guess. Yeah. Holy fuck. Because you're not really supposed to have this big of a lead early on, right? And it speaks to the mastery of the champion. It's after you get lost chapter. Three six cents, Gragas is so fucking good. Oh -ho 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 -ho. Close flash with the skew. Nice. Okay. Sonic Wave was gonna connect. This is kind of always the punish when junglers show top. It's happened so many times this series and the last ones where like if a jungler does do anything good or bad gank doesn't matter if they just show top at like five to six minutes it's always a drake for the enemy team yeah um feels like sometimes it's not worth it if, if, if like it's if like showing top is just gonna blow a flash wait but it'll give the enemy team free drake what the fuck happened to keen jesus okay uh oh no flash on no flash on the hands this could be ghost down the lane and kill. No, never mind. It's nothing though. Oh. Oh. Ooh, these are some. These are actually some quite. Uh, he's gonna get canceled here. These are some really sad ganks by Kanavi. Like it's not his fault that they're going poorly, but. Oh, no. Just <laughs> <laughs> walked up and autoed. That's gonna be painful for him top side. He might lose like red off of it. Red and what? Oh. Okay. Aiming waking up. Navi's level five. Whoever, whoever wins, like, the next smite fight, maybe for Crab. I mean, Cuz just gets this fucking Crab and then gets six off of it. He hits six off he of it. He smited, oh. too. It's unfightable for JDG, no? I mean, How he, are you gonna he, fight he can steal this because Cuz just smited. Oh, my God. Cuz got it. I guess it's just scary because of Vile. Yeah. He doesn't want to go in and get killed. Get it. Look at this dive top. Everyone's piling in. Oh. Whoa. And obviously looking to pressure enemy red here, but Jax can just walk up and just beat his ass for it. I don't. I don't think this is going to be free for Kanavi at all. They're they're looking to pick him. This is a miserable game to play Lee. I mean, he he had some fucked up situations happen to him where like Pride of Lane Gank bot got his shit stolen. He also got his first blue stolen partly because like it was a 50-50, but like it was partly because his bot lane fucked up level one. My god, Kai's is useless right now. But like somehow, Aiming doesn't have any better items in him. Yeah. Same Z's currently. Oh, no wards for you. On, on Chemtech map, like, having vision down is fucking impossible. Yeah. No, his <laughs> fucking, his, his raptors got yoinked by Syndra. Oh, man, I'm feeling really bad for Kanavi, dude. He's having the worst time of his life. Getting a little bullied. Yeah, I mean, like, look at this shit, man. Wait. Wait, aiming? 
Wow, I like that missing didn't even try. Like he's holding W. What's happening? Oh. Nice. I, I, I love that. I love that. Holy. He just held the W until he absolutely had to use it to peel. Yeah. Those are those like small leads that you build up. Ruler found an opportunity to go in 2v1 with Ghost. And blew the size ults, blew fucking BDD's TP, made him miss a wave. Now Ori's on the move top. Like they 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 always get something in this domino effect. I think Lee Sin ended up with enemy blue there. This top matchup is like spicy, but no one's dying. Why did why did why did he just TP bot? Yeah, what the hell? They're swapping. I guess Harold's like, up soon. That was like legit KDA TP. Like, what does he lose? Hold on. Hold that thought. Wait. Oh! Hands instantly, but wait, no, he don't won't even die hands. yet. He's taking forever. No, it's fucking doomed. KTD, KT hard wins this. Oh! KT hard wins this. Can he die though? No. One for two so far. I mean, they, they blew everything to kill the support. Like, of course, that was going to go. Yeah. Terribly. Took far too long. Yeah, it, it let Lehens barely the one HP get a get his ult off and survive quite a long time. Oh, he had exhaust as well and probably would played a pretty pretty big factor in it. Ooh. He's pretty deep. Yeah. He's just trying to go for a pick on BDD who has no flash. He's dead. I don't see any any universe he can lose. Yeah. This. Bye bye. Wow. The discipline for no one to ult there. Uh, oh, actually, sorry. I think Lee Sin ulted. He did, yeah. Make sure. But the, the discipline for like Rakan not to ulti, Gragas not to use. Or ulti too. Wait, how did Ori ult it? <laughs> I don't know. Something top. They're all right, actually. They're, they're not that impressive. They're they're just mm. easy. Then TP to, TP to cross map. Wait, BDD TP. Oh God. Size getting out. Wait, she took no damage. Oh. What the fuck? Yeah. Oh my god! It's a, it's, a two, it's a 2v5 dive. I, I feel like 369. Huh. His ults have been really sussy. I mean, it didn't even look horrible. You just didn't do any fucking damage. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, that's why. It's, that's why. He, he, ideally, he should have. Uh, oh. They no, can't kill. Nah. No. Ideally, he should have just played to peel and, like, defend the dive. He could have probably got, like, a four-man knockaway, but I he instead guess. tried to, like, insect somebody into the turret. Uh, like, I feel like it was doomed, though. Like, Ori didn't even have ult there. It legit just came back up. Yeah. I feel like that was just cursed. I mean, it, it was probably cursed. Yeah. But, I mean... Like, he's been fucking jacks, like, the whole game. Yeah, but now... Maybe surprised he didn't blast. Oh. <laughs> Dude, it's like you said. It's like, yeah, you're totally kicking Zaya, bro. <laughs> yeah. Oh! Oh! Ooh. Only one kill for Vi Flash. Lee Sin traded the Flash, though. This is looking rough. I don't think CDG should be able to win this. They're like hella talking about the tragedies of KT. And I think the greatest tragedy for them would be to... Have game five, like go to game five, have game five in the bag, and then like somehow lose. Rashim? KT. <laughs> I can feel it too. Like it, it's possible, right? Like it's probably going game five. This, this game state is almost unplayable for JDG. I don't see how they're going to come back. And then it could go to game oh. five and they have a good early game and uh, where? Well, He's got. Oh my god, funny. he's got a fucking fist up his ass, Jesus. Yeah, and that, that can be barren, honestly, if the enemy team wants to just start it and try. There's nothing else to okay, do. I'm, oh, okay, actually, no quick blades is probably the the reason they don't oh, hear. Oh, yeah, yeah. That is true, that is true. Just barely can't kill it. 
Now they can just play off of Zaya's item spikes. I feel like they definitely should play for drag here. JT? Yeah, without a doubt. I was thinking they could maybe hit Baron, but I don't think it'd be worth it. This Lee pick is literally useless. <laughs> when is he going to kick anyone ever this game? Who is he going to kick? The Cinder who can stop his dash? The fucking Wait. who can stop his... Oh. Oh, he might be dead. Looks like he's oh! Dead. Ho, ho. All right, now they're going to hit Baron. You you can't play like a moron with fucking Rakan against Vi specifically. Can't pull just follow you. Hmm. They're looking for kills. Oh. No vile. This could be hard. I mean, it's a. Fu it's. I'm so surprised they're not weird. pressuring Baron. Like uh, maybe, maybe yeah. they're thinking about it. Like the fact that they want drag. Yeah. I mean, it's it's allowing JDG to kind of breathe here for a little bit if they go for Drake, but it's, it's a safer play. Yeah, I, I don't think it's horrible to not hit Baron, but it's really felt like they wanted to. I mean, at least Kenty's thinking about what could happen. Look at look at where. Oh my God! Oh my that God! Was so much damage. Wait, three six nine just TP top. If if he had a hundred, he was just dead, right? So if he had one more stack, it's actually a kill. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. This is rough. I think this is probably also why people have, like, reservations about playing Jax. Or, what am I saying? Reservations about playing Gragas top against Jax. It's like, Gargalus. it's so hard to play Gragas. He's even good as fuck at Gragas, too. We running, boys! Run! That's two, that's two flashes. Whoa! No, Wait, oh, no. there's no way that's that real. Looks, what that the fuck? Terrible. Wow, he he lives though. He's. Oh my God, what the fuck? They're going hard. Okay, Greg is dead. It's an unplayable fight for JDG again. Ah, this game's over, bro. It's Holy! Let's fucking go! I mean, they could actually combo attempt to steal here with Oriole. Uh, it's kind of scary. All of their name is Smite. Oh! Wait! Wait, wait. What? Huh? Huh? There can 2v4 that? No! What? Amy just completely no! choked his ass off. What? Completely lost his mind. What? Where What's happening? Huh? Huh? KT got too fucking close to the sun? What the fuck was that? What the fuck was that? I guess Ruler and Knight can just 2v5 them on Baron. Like, li literally just 2v5 them. Huh? Huh? Look at this. Ruler has E evolved. He's playing around the pocket of vision. He E's out. Oh my god. The fucking ulti barely... Ruler just he just fucking kills so him. Look at the slash. What? It's a big no. Bruh. And on the backside, I guess Jax is getting two v one by Lee Sin plus uh, Rakan. <laughs> I didn't even know. I, I literally didn't even know that was possible. How, how can you <laughs> lose that fight as Jax with Spear of Shojin? I, I I'm just like. Confused. I don't know. <laughs> uh. JDG's too fucking good, or was that a crypto throw? I mean, JDG's is too good. <laughs> hey, if you're the best team in the world, I just—I mean, miracles will happen. Like <laughs> yeah, dude, like that was so doomed for JDG. Oh, the game is—the game was completely over. <laughs> I, 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 I just don't, I cannot even understand like how you could just lose for 25 minutes and then die and everyone flashes and the game's just looking hopeless and every team's getting a bear for free and then all of a sudden it's just not. <laughs> what the fuck, bro? Yeah, I, I don't Given know. Given hip, it's fine. I don't know, maybe they can still win, but... 
so many like crazy things too. Like if Kaisa had one less dagger, she cannot make that play. One less dagger. So if you've like missed like a little bit more CS or got one less kill, he won't have E evolved and he can't just like stealth out from the like little pocket of like yeah, fog yeah. and make the play on BDD like that. Yeah. That shit nasty. I mean, it's fucking so funny. Ruler was always behind Zaya the entire game until oh 369 oh. is caught as fuck. Oh, like he is giga caught. Nope. No, it's nothing. And Dragon now he, uh, you know, Kaisa is ahead of full PD. Yeah, he's fucking fed now. Yeah, he's huge. Oh, and Drake is up, but 369 is dead uh -oh. for 40. Uh oh. Wait. You can do some, you can do some really crazy shit Wait. with guys to against Vi. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh! oh my god. BDD, no! BDD, BDD absolutely sent this game. This oh my god. Ruler doesn't even have to use his stopwatch. He doesn't even have to use his stopwatch there. Wait. Okay. Holy fuck, bro. Dude. <laughs> that TP from BDD, he just gets instantly railed. Yeah, Loses his railed. whole health bar, flashes, dies anyway. Yeah. yeah. That was nasty. Did you did you notice that Lee Sin Q had connected? I, I no. Didn't. Like, cause I, I thought when Ruler ulted in, I was like, oh, he's gonna live with one HP, and then like Lee Sin just connects the second Q and he's dead. Yeah. Didn't even notice. Wow. Oh, it just hit on the oh, Oriol. Yeah, it just hits. It hits off of the Orialty, and uh. Oh, Kanavi. Played scared. Just dancing in and out so much. Oh, but he finally dies. Then reposition behind the jacks that's revving up that counter strike to take him down. He's been so clutch with his position. Wait, if I had a shutdown for ruler? Okay, the game's rigged. Like, look at Vi's <laughs> items. Vi has two items. Ruler has like three and a half and a stopwatch. Why the fuck did he have a shutdown? <laughs> Nah, uh, Ruler is so fucking good, man. He's cheating, bro. He's cheating. Like, I, I, I probably would have like considered at the very least using stopwatch on that ulti, but he just knew he didn't have to. Oh, Knight's gonna flash out. He's oh. gonna flash onto him. Now nah, he doesn't even die. Gonna, probably gonna die because he got baited in a perfectly Wait. reasonable play. Bro, he, Wait. he's owning. He's taking no damage. He's, he's rolling. No damage. He's unkillable. It's Faker! Oh, 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 oh god! Oh. No, I'm convinced the game is rigged. I'm convinced the game is rigged. <laughs> the blast gun just changed the entire game. It fucking blew him into Narnia. <laughs> Bro, he, I mean, what? Cousin Jax was, was reasonable. Jax was so fucking strong there. Yeah, he was. Jax couldn't even do. He just pushes Q, and he's just like, all right. Did my job, I guess. What the fuck's his E cooldown? Did he hit fucking point of no return? He's just too he crazy. Doesn't have, he doesn't have an E cooldown, man. He takes no damage. That's just immune all the time. Oh, he's playing Earth mode. I see. Instant TP the second it started, and it's still dead before they can do yeah, anything. Yeah, so it's so dead. Less less than like six seconds. Oh, Akeen is sending it. Like he's obviously Jax. He's doing Jax things, but you can't. Dude, it's legit a three second oh. cooldown. Yeah. What the fuck? Yeah, he's. Oh. oh my God. Nah, I need to watch the JDG documentary at like at the start of next year when they release the comps for these games, and I want to know who the fuck is making the call that they can contest that Baron. <laughs> like, who's saying that? I I know how that would go if you were literally any other team. Two more people would just randomly run in and die. Two more corpses. 
for the pile. Yeah. <laughs> it's a go next fast call. <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah. I like that. Aiming. Oh! oh good stopwatch by Ruler. Oh! Oh! oh Kanavi's just having the worst game ever. <laughs> like, he doesn't have to do anything. Holy fucking yeah, balls. doesn't have to literally do anything this game. I, I'm sorry, like, he's a good player, obviously, but holy fuck. <laughs> he's just trying to do, oh, like, just protect flash. your AD. Dude, he's not even, he's literally trying to permanently kick Zaya. Like, the whole <laughs> game, he's trying to kick Zaya, and it's not working. <laughs> uh, game over here, I think. Next wave is coming in, 20 seconds on by. Oh, maybe, maybe not. Maybe not game over. Man, they have to stall for 15, then Cuz will be up. Oh. It's Ooh, over. He's hitting the base. It's over. Oh, finally, he he kicks Amy. No, it's over. Oh. Wait, 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 wait. <gasps> the cannon! The cannon. Oh! The cannon was paid off. The cannon was paid off by CCP. <laughs> the last cannon video, the last shot, like. It was Baron buffed too, just so far. Holy shit. And who says money can't buy happiness? Whoever is JP's <laughs> CEO was just like, and here's a blank check. Yo, BDD, hey, you got me, bro? No, 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 no. I'm saying ruler in the offseason. Like, he's just, oh. dude, this guy's too good. <laughs> True. Yeah. Actually, Alice said it great. Like, they, they played really well, KT. Yeah. They did way better than... I mean, that, that easily could have won game five. Yeah. I mean, it literally should have. Until the Baron incident. The Baron incident might be one of the most legendary <laughs> of all time. The pixel bush. I remember. Why the fuck did you walk up, BDD? Literally everything fell from there. Holy shit, man. Yeah. Aiming I fucking mean. twisted his eyeballs. Keen was caught behind Baron. Yeah. Their jaws were just on the floor. They're like, <laughs> how, how could they do this? <laughs> Aiming shit to Spans. Cuz <laughs> just starts ulting on sight. Yep. <laughs> and there was just like so many moments in this game that were so funny and circumstantial. Like the blast cone thing, where it's the super blast cone. <laughs> and Cuz ults somebody one inch away from him, literally like almost on top of me, ults, ults somebody, and then it takes him into the enemy team for an int. Yeah. Like, <laughs> dude, there's no way. G. G. GG. I'll see you tomorrow. Hopefully, Inks be around. Yeah. Need our Polish guy. True. Our jungler. <laughs> exactly. What are 280 exactly. carries without a jungler? We're nothing. We just farm. <laughs> right click. <laughs> peace. All right, peace.